Representative Prophetic Passages Hash 6 by Clyde L. Pilkington, Jr. Isaiah 45, 1-25 The Lord says to His anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have holden, to subdue nations before Him, I will go before you and make the crooked places straight. I will give you the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places, that you mayest know that I, the Lord, which call you by your name, am the God of Israel. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel mine elect, I have even called you by your name, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Drop down, you heavens, from above, and let the skies pour down righteousness. Let the earth open, and let them bring forth salvation, and let righteousness spring up together. I, the Lord, have created it. I have raised him up in righteousness, and I will direct all his ways. He shall build my city, and he shall let go my captives. The labor of Egypt, and merchandise of Ethiopia, and of the Sabians, men of stature, shall come over unto you, and they shall be yours. They shall come after you, in chains they shall come over, and they shall fall down unto you. They shall make supplication unto you, saying, Surely God is in you, and there is none else. There is no God. Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an age-abiding salvation. Assemble yourselves and come. Draw near together, you who are escaped of the nations. Look unto me, and be ye saved, all the ends of the earth. For I am God, and there is none else. I have sworn by myself the word has gone out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return, that unto me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. In the Lord shall all the seed of Israel be justified and shall glory. Kingdom phase, premillennial. Characteristics. Cyrus to be resurrected as Yahweh Elohim's anointed, whom he called that he may know him and be a servant to Israel. Cyrus will be resurrected in righteousness and God will direct all his ways. He will rebuild my city, Jerusalem, and he will let go my captives, and the nations will assist with the rebuilding. God will hold Cyrus's hand to subdue the nations, to make the crooked places straight. Cyrus will oversee the assembly of Jews who are escaped of the nations, and righteousness will pour down from heaven with the global worship of every knee bowing, and in the Elohim shall all the seed of Israel be justified. Matthew 19.27-29 Peter responded to him, We have left everything and followed you. What consequently will there be for us? Jesus said to them, I assure you that you who follow me in the regeneration when the Son of Man will be seated on the throne of his glory, you also shall sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who leaves houses, or brothers, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or fields, on account of my name, shall receive a hundredfold, and shall be enjoying the allotment of age-abiding, Eonian life. Kingdom Phase Premillennial Characteristics There will be a regeneration, Renaissance CV of Israel, with Christ reigning from heaven, on the throne of his glory. The twelve apostles are resurrected to sit on the twelve thrones of Israel, with the kingdom of the heavens being referred to as the regeneration in the parallel scripture passage calling it the age that is coming. This regeneration will be a restoration of all that has been lost to them. Houses, brothers, sisters, father, mother, wife, children, fields. The context of age-abiding Ionian life, you know, is entrance into the kingdom of the heavens. Mark 4, 26 to 29. And he said, So is the kingdom of God, as if a man should cast seed into the ground. For the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself, first the blade, then the ear, after that the full corn in the ear. But when the fruit is brought forth, immediately he puts in the sickle, because the harvest is come. Kingdom phase premillennial. Characteristics. The kingdom is in development and harvested, demonstrating a gradual ascendancy until the harvest has come. Note, this is the kingdom parable of the growing seed. 
The pre-millennial kingdom does not come all at once. It comes in four stages. Blade slash ear slash full corn harvest. It is in place long before the harvest, when Christ returns, at which time it is in its fullness. Revelation 14, 14 to 15, note sickle. These stages have their beginning with the blade, the earliest visible stage of growth from the previously planted seed, at Pentecost. This is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. The entire Acts period makes up this blade stage. Jeremiah 24, 6 and 7. I will set my eyes upon them for good, and I will bring them again to this land, and I will build them and not pull them down, and I will plant them and not pluck them up, and I will give them an heart to know me that I am the Lord, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God, for they shall return unto me with their whole heart. Kingdom Phase Premillennial Characteristics The Regathering of Israel I will bring them again to this land, the reestablishment of Israel nationally. I will build them. The reversal of Loami, not my people. They shall be my people, and I will be their God. They will be given a change of heart to know God, and will return, repent, to Him. I will give them an heart to know me, and they shall return unto me with their whole heart. Note, this last characteristic makes it not fit within the last two stages of the kingdom. Day of the Lord and Day of God. Jeremiah 31, 27 to 30. The days are coming when I will sow the house of Israel and the house of Judah with the seed of man and the seed of beast. I will be attentive to build and to plant them. In those days it will never again be said. The fathers have eaten sour grapes and the children's teeth are set on edge. Rather, each will die for his own wrongdoing. Anyone who eats sour grapes, his own teeth will be set on edge. Kingdom Phase Premillennial Characteristics The houses of Israel and Judah will be replanted, man and animal. I will sow the house of Israel and the house of Judah with the seed of man and the seed of beast. Natural men living during this time will not die as a result of Adam's sin, but everyone shall die for his own iniquity. Note The proverb, The fathers have eaten sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge refers to sins of fathers being visited on their children. John 16, 7 and 8, and verses 13 to 14. It is for your benefit that I go away, because if I don't go away, the Helper will not come to you. If I go, I will send him to you. When he comes, he will convict the world about sin, righteousness, and judgment. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. He will glorify me, because he will take from what is mine and make it clear to you. Kingdom Phase Premillennial Characteristics The first stage of God's kingdom requires Christ's absence from the earth. That is, his parousia, personal presence, is absent. If I don't go away, if I go. The first stage of God's kingdom is spiritual. When he comes, he will convict the world about sin, righteousness, and judgment. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. In the day of Christ, he will be glorified in his absence. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and make it clear to you. Luke 17, 20 and 21. <laughs> Being asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God will come, he answered them, the kingdom of God is not coming with observation. No one will say, look here or there. For you see the kingdom of God is inside you. Kingdom phase, premillennial. Characteristics. The initial stage of the coming kingdom of God, the kingdom of the heavens, does not come with visible observation. The kingdom of God is not coming with observation. The first stage of the kingdom is spiritual, internal. The kingdom of God is inside you. Matthew 8, 11. I say unto you that many shall come from the east and west and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of the heavens. Kingdom phase, premillennial. Characteristics. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are resurrected. Christ is absent, for strikingly missing is, sit down with me. 2. Thessalonians 2, 1-4. Now we are asking you, brethren, for the sake of the presence, parousia of our Lord Jesus Christ, and our assembling to him, that you be not quickly shaken from your mind, nor yet be alarmed, either through spirit or through word, 
or through an epistle as through us, as that the day of the Lord is present. No one should be deluding you by any method, for should not the apostasy be coming first, and the man of lawlessness be unveiled, the son of destruction, who is opposing and lifting himself up over everyone termed a god, or an object of veneration, so that he is seated in the temple of God, demonstrating that he himself is God. Kingdom Phase Pre-Millennial Observations Characteristics Prior to the Day of the Lord, the Coming Presence, CV, Parousia of our Lord, and their assembling or gathering together to Him, there must be restoration. Before there can be apostasy, there must first be a restoration of faith. Apostasy becoming temple before the Antichrist can sit in God's temple, it must rebuild. This is not merely a temple or Israel's temple, but the temple of God. Thus, this is not a mere human effort, for except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Psalms 127.1